Hello everyone. So uh, we are still continuing to model uh, with the Creo Parametric 2.0, and uh, what we are going to do is uh, let me pull up the drawings right now. So this is the drawing that we are going to use in order to develop the part. And I am in uh, Creo Parametric. I'm starting with Sketch. Let us go ahead and start with the um, uh, right dating plane, click sketch, and we are there. Good. What we are going to do now is uh, let us start with a circle. Here we have a circle. Let us go ahead and define the values right away. It is 1.5 in diameter and uh, 2 from the base. And what is the base? Basically, a tangent line that will go all the way here and this line is also going to be tangent to the circle for it to be a tangent we are selecting the tangent tool selecting the line, selecting the circle and it's going to be tangent however we know that we cannot leave sketch mode without it being shaded and with the leaving uh, width dimensions in order to get rid of this excess line I need to delete segment and it's gone and I need to delete this arc so it is not crossing the internal side of it good and here is uh, everything we know that from the drawing it's not 3 but it is 4.13 and we can go ahead and extrude it how far the thickness is 0.63 we accept it what we're gonna do is we will uh, add uh, some feature here so extrude what kind of extrusion is it it is going to be basic circle equal radii let's accept it extrude how far it is going to go 1.25 right good that's there and we will also need to extrude at the bottom here orient it use references such as this and this it's already added there click rectangle make a rectangle of 0.63 we click accept we do not want it to go that direction but this and it will go 0.63 plus 1.25 so here is the distance we accept it we need to introduce hole here we could click hole and uh, make a hole there or we could sketch on top of the surface since this is a basics we are not doing uh, 3d tools to see 3d tools there is uh, another video upload it and this diameter of the circle is um, 0.63 here now by the way let me quickly note this when you see double headed arrow that indicates it's the diameter and when you see the single headed arrow that means it is radius and how to choose one or the other basically if I select my dimension tool normal here and if I select my circle and single click middle mouse button it will give me the radius but if I get rid of this and double click the circle and middle mouse button it will give me double headed arrow which will be my diameter and it was 0.63 good we we'll click OK extrude change direction remove material till this surface and here is my part it is looking good what we are going to do next is basically add rounds to here and there click round select the corner press ctrl and hold it select the second corner and define the radius for the round which is 0.25 when we click ok now we have the part ready to manufacture